Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you my new project that is a Java project uh, named as Library Management System. So if you are in final year and uh, you haven't make your project yet and you need to submit your minor or major project in your college, then we, this video is going to be very helpful for you. Uh, okay, and the source code of this project uh, is in description. Uh, the link is in description and you can just directly go to the uh, go to the link of this project and you can have the source code and just download it and run on your PC and the explanation you will have uh, from this video so just uh, uh, watch this video uh, from starting to end and uh, after watching this video you will have your minor project in your hand so enjoy this video and I hope this video will so go let me to first help explain you what is actually a library management it. system so it is nothing but a software that is uh, that is primary housekeeping function of a library to handle the housekeeping function of the library and uh, library relay on the library management system to manage asset collection as well as relationship between their members so and what kind of member uh, they have maybe the students or their uh, colleagues or anyone like uh, for an educational institution, uh, the students uh, will be the member of the library, right? And the library management system helps libraries keep track of the books and their checkouts, as well as member subscription and profile. So these kind of functionality we can have in this library management system. And I will explain each and every part of this library management system one by one. And uh, so let's get start. And uh, let me first explain you that uh, that the, uh, this software is completely based on Java language and the database used in this project is MySQL. So first you need to have two softwares installed in your PC. First is NetBeans. Uh, I have used the NetBeans IDE for Java uh, application. You can have your own but uh, uh, please use the NetBeans because uh, then there will be no problem for you guys to, uh, to uh, for any, any anything right okay so and the second thing is vamp server you need to install the vamp server and the both links for the softwares are in are in in this video uh, description you can have the link and just download the software and just install in your pc after that uh, after installation of the of these two softwares you are ready to make this library management system so let's get started so after installation of these two softwares, first you need to uh, open the WAMP server. Like I have already installed this WAMP server in my PC. So I just need to open this WAMP server. After clicking on this, uh, the WAMP server will be enabled. Like you can see that WAMP server is in green color. So that means it is running correctly. And if it is not green, uh, then there will be an error. So you need to make sure that your WAMP server is running absolutely fine in your PC so after uh, you have to just open this WAMP server and just go to this Maria database okay and Maria database is go to this Maria uh, DB console and this is the user ID and password part was password is empty so after that you can see we are in database so first we need to check what kind of database we have so show database is a query to check the databases so we have these software like i have uh, made multiple so uh, databases in my database so you need to create one database so the um, you will have the the query for this making database and making tables in this video description don't worry about that just uh, uh, i'm just showing you for your explanation like uh, if you need to explain these uh, like how you you are uh, getting the database and how you are connecting this database to your software then you need to uh, know like what is going on behind the software right so in this software like in this library management software we, i have used this project 2 database so let me use the project 2 project 2 and show tables so show tables is a query for for uh, for checking what kind of table we have so we have total five tables in this project 2 database and uh, in, in this account we have like select star from star from account so now you can see the data in the table of account so now we have three uh, three uh, entries in this account table okay 
So this is the database we are going to use in our NetBeans. Now second thing you have to open in your PC is NetBeans. So I have already opened this NetBeans in my system. So um, if you have installed your NetBeans correctly, then you will uh, not facing any issue with the database. Okay, with the NetBeans, sorry. Mm -hmm. And after that, you have to just go to this new project and make a new project that is called Java application. Okay, and then click on next and uh, just uh, name your project or whatever you want to and uh, just select a path. Okay, and just click on finish. After clicking finish, you will have this kind of interface like I'm not going to fin finish it again because I have already made one so I'm just cancelling it and you can see that uh, like after that you can uh, have this kind of interface like uh, you will have a package called library management system or whatever you have named your project okay so let me just uh, uh, delete this one because I don't need this one so that you can have a clear view right so you can see that we have library management system so in this library management system module we have libraries test libraries test packages source package so in this source package uh, in default package we can see all the java files are present okay and uh, the code of uh, of this java files i will explain one by one okay and first you uh, need to have the uh, this these icons is nothing but a but the resources i am using in this software so first uh, let me show you how this project is working so let me just run this project so shift plus f6 okay one second okay now this project is running now you can see this and uh, this is uh, this is nothing but the uh, login login.java class okay and login.java class is having having uh, two labels that is user and password and two text fields so uh, I have already feeded the user ID and password in the database so it will check that the I am I am getting the right one or not the right credential or not and if the credentials are right then it will allow me to go in the system so the user ID is mono underscore two five one one and password is one two three four okay after clicking on this login you can have your main system here like this is a library management system okay now i'm just uh, going to show i'm just showing you the the interface and the and the working of this project after that i will explain each and every part of this project right and uh, what kind of feature we are having in this uh, in this library management system that is add box okay now when you are clicking on this add box so you will get this uh, this interface and you are clicking on this button back you will get another uh, you will back to the main main system okay and if you are seeing the statistics statistics is nothing but how many books are uh, are issued and how many books were retrieved so it will uh, uh, it will be shown here and when you are click on back you will get your main screen and you can uh, add the new student like it is mainly focusing on the li college library management system so that is why I'm writing add student. You can change as you want. Okay. Okay. And this is issue book. Okay. Like if you want to issue book to any particular student, so you can directly click on this button and you can have this and just write the details of the book. Okay. And just issue. Right. Back. Now, last one is uh, return book. Okay. So this is the return book. Back. And the last feature is about us. About is nothing but. Uh, you can uh, have uh, about us like uh, I have made this one so this is about us like think and build is made this one okay and this is my email address if uh, you have any doubt at any point uh, in this video okay so you can just directly mail me at this uh, at this email address okay and I will definitely uh, reply you back so So now you know the complete functionality of this project, like how this project is working. So it's time to explain each and every class of this project. So let's start with the connection class. So as you can see in my project uh, package, one second. 
in my project package we have total multiple uh, classes java classes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 classes we have so the initial class which connect the database to our server uh, to our uh, project is connection okay okay let me start my server first so now my server is started you can see here the wam service in green green color so uh, here you can see i have imported sql so in java we have sql package so i have to use some classes from sql package so that is why i'm importing this sql now we have two classes in sql connection and statement we have multiple classes but in this case we are just using these two uh, uh, classes so we are making two objects of these two classes and then one constructor and first you need to um, uh, add the library java uh, jdbc library because we are using uh, sql so you have to use the jdbc driver so that uh, it can connect to the to your database so how you can add your driver to your uh, project just it is very simple you can, you have to just go to this library and click right click on it and add library right so, and just look for the jdbc driver java jdbc driver so yeah and here it is my sql jdbc driver so you have to just add library so i have already added this one so i am not going to add it again okay so after that you are just uh, uh, writing this try and catch because any exception uh, will be handled using this try and catch okay now you are uh, just giving the path of the your jdbc so you can just copy this uh, uh, code okay and then you are giving a connection uh, you are copying this uh, database path basically my database name is project2 and the user id is uh, root and the password is empty so that is why i am giving this kind of um, path okay and then as statement statement is equal to c dot create a statement so basically i am executing whenever this function will be called so this as will be execute right and if any exception will be uh, occur so then this catch function will be called okay and this main function and the main function is the actual function which is run by the compiler so the compiler will first comes on main and it uh, this this uh, construction will be called and then this construction will be called and uh, this this kind of functions will be run okay so let me first run this only this so you can see database connected so that means we don't have any kind of uh, problem in our database connectivity so our database is connected successfully right so after that the first page which will load whenever we uh, run this project is login user okay so let me first run it so login login user is nothing but a panel or basically a a, a form we can say a window form which is having some labels some text boxes some buttons and a image view okay so let me uh, introduce you by the code so there are some libraries we have to import okay like awt awt is nothing but uh, we have to use some colors and all so that is why we are importing this awt and swing swing is nothing but in swing we have j panel j text boxes so that is why we are importing the swing and we are uh, you, um, doing some event handling like whenever we click on this button so what kind of uh, function this button will be uh, called so uh, this all will be handled by event handling okay and the sql connection and the database will be handled by this import uh, sql libraries right so after that we have some uh, variables so uh, i have made first i have made panel panel is nothing but this complete frame okay and then text boxes so java text box a text field and one is password field so password field will be uh, because in text field all the characters will be visible and password field all the characters is not visible okay so that is why i'm making uh, this as a password field and three buttons b1 b2 b3 and this is nothing but a label okay and at label we can uh, we can add image and i will show you later that is okay and then th this is the constructor and this super keyword super keyword is nothing but wh whatever you will write in the super that will be visible as a heading of the frame 
right so if you want to change this heading so you can just change here okay then set background background color is orange and and this is bound set bounds like uh, like in our pc uh, coordinate geometry like uh, the coordinates are 0 0 here and max max here so at what place this frame will be open will be decided by this set bounds okay so i have given four parameters x1 x2 and and y1 y2 okay so 600 300 is initial point and 600 and 400 is exit point right then panel is equal to new panel we are initializing this uh, new panel and then background color is gray okay the background color is gray and then panel set layout because we have basically we have multiple kind of layouts a uh, grid layout uh, border layout and and all uh, all other layouts but uh, in this case we are not using any predefined layout we are giving the coordinates so you have to be very good in coordinate geometry uh, like you have to uh, know good enough about the coordinates okay the, so here we are not using any any kind of uh, predefined predefined uh, layouts so that is why i am giving this null as a parameter then this is a label okay j label where, uh, which is having a resource logo dot png okay so this is the uh, code for uh, taking uh, any image to as a label okay so in icons we have logo dot png here it is logo dot png and i can directly use this photo you can change as your own okay and then l dot set bounds like this is l and where it should be enabled so that will be decided by this line and then panel dot add panel dot add will be add because all the all the um, all the features will be add in this panel so that is why i am giving panel dot add and next is username okay and again uh, we are giving some bounds and set back and setting the background color and uh, panel dot add and again password and all the you can this is nothing but the ui we are designing the ui using code not by drag and drop option we have uh, we have the the fresh facility to use the drag and drop option but uh, in this case i am showing you the actual code that is very beneficial for you like uh, the back end part like you can also use uh, the drag and drop uh, feature of this netbeans but this is completely a uh, coded video so uh, the code is very simple you can easily understand it and then again i am making a label that is nothing for the space i i want some space in between the text box and the button so that is why i am giving a label okay and then again this button button one is login so login uh, is having action listener so that is why i am giving action listener because it should do something and uh, b1 is for foreground is black foreground is nothing but the text color and this background color is nothing but the button color right and this is bound where it should be visible and then it will be add and same for the sign up button and same for the forget password okay after that the main main uh, portion of this uh, class is action performed because b basically uh, we have designed the ui part of this frame but now whenever we click on this login what should uh, what kind of uh, uh, function this function uh, this button should do so that will be decided by action performed so if a dot get source is equal to b1 like if the button click uh, if the login button is clicked and login button is nothing but b1 is referring to b1 variable so if b1 is clicked okay then this try function will be called and this try function will firstly connect the database so that is why i'm using this con uh, con con is nothing but our uh, connection uh, class okay it will connect the database and this uh, is the query which will check the username and password okay and prepared statement is nothing but the it will basically uh, basically copy this uh, sql query and give to the database and uh, this is the variable of prepared statement and it is uh, in the sql library and then prepared statement uh, we have to give the uh, priority like first it will check the text field so that is why i'm giving 
priority one and then it will check password field so it is giving i am giving priority two and then result set so result set is nothing but uh, it is a class in sql library uh, and this will check each and every uh, tuple one by one each and every column sorry column one by one so first it will go to the user uh, pass uh, username and then it will go to the password and it will check the if the username is correct as in the database feeded so it will go to the next one and if anyone is is incorrect if anyone credential is not matching to the database then it will show uh, uh, this else part will be will be uh, called okay that is invalid login and if any kind of exception is happening then this catch function will be called and if the button to uh, if if uh, the action is button to then the sign up sign up uh, uh, dot java will be called and uh, and this uh, user will be disabled and if button 3 a dot get sources button 3 then this forget dot password forget dot java file will be called and this uh, this uh, login will be disabled so this is the functionality and the and the uh, what is happening behind the login and sign up uh, sign up class and uh, this is the main function which is actually called by the compiler so uh, here i have used the login user constructor and whenever it is it will be called so the whole whole code will be processed so now you can uh, let's go to the sign up sign up java so sign up java is also having the same kind of features like we have login but only the difference is here in action performed so i'm only uh, telling you the uh, perform uh, the i'm only uh, telling you the details of this action performed because the ui is same you can easily understand it They're basically we are using some text fields and j panels and combo boxes and giving some coordinates to design this and uh, at last what we are we are doing is nothing but this uh, but the backend part so backend part is important and this video is going to be very long so that is why i am making this video short and uh, if you have any query so you can directly comment to me and the code is with you you can have the code by the uh, video description there is a link of github in on that you can find the uh, this complete project just download it and run on your pc and download the vamp server connect your database to your netbeans and just run it and your minor and major project will be done okay so this is the action performed if b1 is clicked b1 is nothing but this create and b2 is button okay if b1 is clicked then this command will be uh will be called like this command is nothing but insertion command whenever we click on the all the data whatever is is feeded in this uh, text boxes will be go to the databases okay will be go to the databases and once the database is created so it will show you the uh show you a message that successfully created your new user is successfully created okay and if the button is b2 then this this will be uh, disable and the login will be enabled login page will be enabled there okay and if any exception will be happen so this uh, catch function will be called right and the last one is forget password so forget password is also same as the uh, this but only difference is forget password is checking the data like i can show you like i'm not going to explain the ui part again just explaining you the backend part okay like first it will connect the database and whenever you click on uh, um, whenever you write your username and search for the name like for example monu underscore 2511 and i'll search for the name so it will basically retrieve the data from the database so this is uh, where username is monu underscore 2511 uh, find the name right find the name and secret question so my secret question it is giving me your nickname okay so now i will answer my nickname is manu so 
retrieve so it will show me my password if these data will be correct so basically it will give you the hint that uh, this is your uh, security question and this is your name and you have to just answer it and now you have your password and you can just easily log in by using your original password okay so this is how the forget password dot java will be uh, will be work right and whenever we click on this back function so it will uh, it will uh, go to the login page so this is all about the login page and once we once we correctly log in in our system then this home page will be will be enabled so let's talk about this home page so home page is, is having nothing but the but one the, like this in, library management system is done by super keyword and there is a menu bar and in menu bar we have menus and in menus we have menu uh, another menus right and this is nothing but a label library management system and this is a border and in border we have three panels sorry three labels which is also three images and in images we have three buttons okay and here is also we have three buttons and three images and one border so uh, you can easily see that the super keyword is having library management system so that is why it is showing your library management system here okay and then the set bounds and all the same things and now we are having j menu bar so menu bar is nothing but the this this complete menu bar and i'm giving you the height and width the size is and the background color is white and now we have to add some uh, menus in this menu bar so first i have made exit menu okay and then in exit i have made logout that is nothing but menu items like it is menu bar and menu bar is having menus and menu is having items so in menu exit we have two items log it and exit and in help menu we have also two two uh, uh, items that is read me and about us and in record we have also two items that is book details and student details you can easily check here like in record we have two items in help we have two items and in exit we have two items so this is nothing but the ui part okay and then we are uh, writing a label that is library management system here for uh, looking this page interactive and this is the like ui part foreground color uh, font size foundation and all the things will be uh, added in the content panel content panel is nothing but this complete frame okay and then again uh, um, now, now we are uh, adding some pictures so pictures are also added in in this labels right and it is taking the resource from this icons icons uh, resource and i have some pictures in my icons resource so you i am directly using this pictures you can also change but you have to change the name as well with the extension right and again i am using three images in this so you can see and these are the images and at last we are using some buttons right and again we are using some uh, uh, some three uh, pictures here and we have three buttons right and the main part is this like whenever we click on this logout this logout so what kind of um, things will happen whenever I click on this read me about us so uh, this uh, this will be done by action performed like if message is equal to logout so it will basically log out from the system so the the home page will be disabled and it will go to the login page right and if it, it is exit then the complete system should be uh, shut down right and if a message is readme then it is uh, doing nothing because I, uh, I didn't code for the readme part but if the the message is about us so it will show you a page that is about us dot java and if the message is book details so it will be uh, showed you book details and the current uh, current uh, frame will be disabled that is home frame and same as for student details and if the button is b1 then nothing but the add function will be called uh, add class will be called add book class will be called and the home will be disabled and same for button 2 but the but the classes will be different okay 
like for button 2 statistics class will be called for button 3 add student class will be called and for button 4 issue class will be called and for button 5 return book class will be called and for button 6 about us class will be called and uh, these class will be called and the home class will be disabled and the other function will be done by this these classes right so i think i have uh, explained you the the details of this buttons and the and the labels and the ui part as well as uh, action performed also so let me first go to this add books okay so let me just cross it so add books is here so whenever we go to this add book add book so it will fetch basically it, it is for the admin to add new books like libraries having some new books so and they can add the new books in the system okay so like a book id book id they can give two through five four name is aryanth let's suppose aryanth isbn let's having something i don't know about that and uh, publisher name is aryanth okay and name is maths 12th okay addition is first price let's suppose for 250 and pages let's suppose 100 and add and you can see successfully added and this data will be added in database so this will this will be nothing and this will uh, add some new books right and the add student same add book and add student are same but it is having uh, it is adding student and it is adding books okay you can see we have different kinds of uh, branches so you can easily understand these codes Me basically the main part of this project is connection of the database and ui part once you make one ui you can make multiple ui uh, because all the uh, the code will be similar just you have to design as your own like wh whatever kind it is depends on your creativity like if you have a good creativity so you can create the ui as good as you can okay so it is depend on you so i think i have um, explained you all the things correctly and if you have any doubt so you can because this video is getting very longer and i have made another videos on the same part like i have made electricity billing system and the um, employee management system that you can also see and on that videos uh, i have explained this in very detail so i'm not going to explain this library management system in very much detail but i think uh, if you are watching this video you are getting the correct information and i am i i am hoping that you are uh, understanding this video very correctly and if you have any doubt so you can directly mail me or you, or you can comment on this video uh, on this video and i will definitely reply you back right so i think this is all for this video and i have showed you the complete definition and the complete functionalities of this project and the code you have your code make your minor project make your major project whatever you want make the synopsis and just submit in your college and all the best for you guys so thank you so much for watching my video and if you like this video and if this video is is helping you so please share this video if your friend needs them uh, the minor project if he is from cs and it branch so you can share this video to him and the 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 good part is you have the code right and you have the contact details you can directly contact me and i will love to uh, reply you back right so thank you so much for watching my video and uh, if you like this video just comment uh, just like this video and subscribe my channel and just share the video thank you so much guys